mature and you're not seeing them because they're just so small. I mean, I can't see them on myself when I get them on there, so I know I'm not going to do I mean, you just rub them off with something. You, you can't really see them. They look like little pieces of freckle or something. But you, you saw ticks on yourself yeah. out there? Yeah, there's tons of ticks on myself. Is there any stuff. indication of uh, Lyme's disease or starry eye being in that area? Well, you go by Damien's results. He caught to one tick was positive, I do believe. And then Damien also ended up sick while he was out there and off of one of my sites. So uh, we were pretty sure it was off of the site that we got covered in ticks that day. Had a couple hundred on both of us. And they were mostly the immature little guys that were so tiny. They got they get around your ankles. And it's just like they go through the sock. That's how small they are. They crawl through the sock and be on your feet. They'll be on the tops of your feet. And I mean, they're real tiny. <clears throat> Yes. Could have been that um, if there were any in the winter, do the, the ticks crawl away from like the warm body? Well, in the winter, ticks usually over overwinter in the leaf litter, typically. I wasn't sure if, if like the, the mice croaked, then all the little critters on it would. Well, it should still be on. If, if they're going to be on there, they wouldn't leave, I don't think. But like I said, most overwinter in the leaves. Any other questions? John, is there anything uh, concerning your, your research here that you would have done uh, uh, in a different way had, uh, had you had the benefit of hindsight? Yes. First thing would have probably been, if it would have been possible, more traps, I think, to cover a little bit more habitats. Just a little different, you know, in our sites. Maybe a couple more, like one or two more burn sites per thing. If I think. I think a lot of animal usage is more dependent upon the site because, like I said, that one site I had was tons of captures, so, I mean, it could skew you really quickly. Also, the tick searching, like I said, keep them overnight, a couple days, let the ticks drop off, look for them that way, because I, I just don't think the way that the searching them by hand is not a good method. It's just not economical. It takes too much time. And you spend a lot more time per site if I wouldn't have, you know, if I, but then transport of live animals too would have been a problem, I guess. Um, <clears throat> any other things different? Not particularly. I think the otherwise, maybe some traps for maybe some maybe upper level animals, like maybe your flying squirrels, gray squirrels, etc., would have been nice to see what was going on. We considered doing that, but then just the economics of time and me doing it by myself a lot was not, we didn't have time. I didn't have time to do it all. Anything else? Yes. I was just wondering about mouse behavior. Do they groom each other like cats groom themselves? Um, do they groom themselves or each other? Could they have been picking out those ticks? You know, I don't ticks? know. Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, is it? They do in captivity. Yeah, I would. Uh, the domestic mice will groom each other. And I'm sure they would. I don't see why not. I mean, but like I said, because I mean, a lot of times I didn't even, I mean, there was very few in, like insects on them, like even the fleas, there was very few of those. I mean, it was rare to see anything. So they could be grooming each other. If you could get blood samples from the mice, that might help. Find to add actually antibodies. <laughs> I think it hasn't been shown. I'm not 100% sure that the, I think that the, the mice are not very successful to the Lone Star. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm thinking there was a paper I read once on that. Curie Clark, I think. Yeah, it said that they were. Uh, did you get a lot of recaptures? Yes, sir. Did I you estimate the population size for the market recapture? We never did, no, sir. Because we, uh, I have all the information on that, but I never did. I tried to get into Jolly Seaver, and then it just got to where I wasn't very comfortable with talking about it and like doing the model or whatever, you know, and coming in, and I didn't feel like I could defend it very well. I didn't understand it well enough to come up and <laughs> talk about it. So we had a lot of recaptures, especially on the uh, real the burn sites. I had, I think, I had 58 recaptures on that site, if I'm remembering correctly, on those. Yes, um, in view of the fact that you had such an abundance of ticks and Borrelia Lone Star, do you suppose maybe the tidal should be revived? Hmm. From 
say and just making it a specific tick you're saying or uh i'm sorry maybe maybe i misread the title but could you put it up yeah sure I just put. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of the tick borne disease ecology uh, part. Maybe revise that. I mean, I mean, yeah. Do, do the data really say anything about that? Just that I'm not finding any on them. That would be the main data, I would say. You're not finding any ticks on any of them, so the ecology is possible that you're not. That they're not using them for a host? That would be what I would say, but I'm not 100% certain on that. It could be revised, though, yes, you're correct. Anything else? I'm good. That's even better. I figured to wear, that wouldn't ask you much. I've seen you riding away over there. <laughs> 